Hello everyone and welcome to another episode from me. I am Crafted Genius. I am very happy to see you today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Raspberry Pi to your Mac via remote desktop connection. It's a very handy tool. It will mean you don't need a separate monitor for your Raspberry Pi. You don't need to keep plugging in and out that HDMI cable. You can do it all from your Mac. I'm going to be using a MacBook Pro today, but it doesn't matter what Mac you use. I'm here to show you how to connect. So let's begin. So first of all, you're on your Raspberry Pi. You want to go into Terminal. I've got it shortcut up here. So you go into your Terminal. What you want to type in is sudo apt-get install xrdp. So basically what you're telling the Raspberry Pi is to go onto the App Store and install XRDP. This is pretty much how you install any package in Raspberry Pi. So hopefully, fingers crossed, all of the uh, installation happens. You have to press Y a couple of times just to get through the uh, dialogues that it prompts you for. Um, but once this is installed onto your Raspberry Pi, you don't have to worry about this ever again. Once it's on, it's going to be running in the background. There's no program you have to open. You don't have to go into your menu. There's going to be no difference. You're going to notice nothing else apart from you're now going to be able to connect via your MacBook Pro. So let's switch over to the MacBook Pro now. I'm going to be showing you how to connect to the remote desktop of Raspberry Pi. Okay, so there's one part that I did actually forget to uh, tell you about when you are on the Raspberry Pi. You want to go back into your terminal and you want to type in ifconfig. This is basically going to show you a breakdown of your connections, your IP address, your MAC address, all the things like that. So you want to type in that address, you want to type in ifconfig. Okay, you don't want to type in any address. I don't know why I said that. You, what you want to be looking for is this little bad boy down here. It will start off with 192.168.blur.blur. This is your internal IP address. And what this is going to do is going to allow you to connect to your Raspberry Pi when you're on the same network as the Pi. Okay. So it has to be on the same Wi-Fi, it has to be on the same router. As long as it's on the same exact connection, you will be able to connect to it. This video isn't the one you're gonna be looking for if you wanna be able to use your Mac while abroad, or if you're at work and you wanna to connect to your Raspberry Pi. This is more for those guys that wanna just connect to it while you're in the house, rather than having to unplug and replug in HDMI cables to your telly this is for those guys, okay? So if you want a different video, go search for it. Um, but you're gonna have to try and find your external IP address if you wanna do that. This is your internal one anyway. So we found the, in the internal IP address. It shouldn't be too different, by the way. You're just gonna have to find a different address. This is the internal IP address. You wanna copy this or make a note of this IP address. It's gonna be similar to yours. It will have a, just a, probably a different number here. It totally depends on your network. You want to make a note of this number though. It's very important, okay? So with that in place, we're going to flip over to the Mac. Okay, so you're on your MacBook. I'm on a MacBook Pro. Doesn't matter. You're on your Mac. Um, what do you need to do next? The next step is actually to find a remote desktop application. You might not have one installed. You might have to go to the App Store. It doesn't really matter which remote desktop application you use. As long as it's remote desktop, something along those lines, you'll be able to connect. For this purposes, we're going to be using Microsoft Remote Desktop, which I believe you can find on the App Store. It really doesn't matter what program you use. So let's open this up. Okay, you can see I have previous connections here, but we're going to do a new connection for the purposes of this tutorial. Okay, so connection name. You can name this what you want. You can say my pi. The PC name is going to be the address that you took note of earlier. So mine is 192.168.0.16. This is very important, make sure you get this correct. Gateway, I don't really know what that is, um, but this is the important part. This is the username and credentials to get in. 
If you haven't changed your settings, this is your username is going to be Pi. Your password is going to be Raspberry, which can be a little hard to type when you're trying to record. Okay, resolution, you can leave, you can leave, and you can leave. This is all the important stuff here. I believe gateway could be important as well, but for the purposes of this tutorial, when you're connecting to an internal uh, device, this is the important part. You wanna make sure you've got this in the similar sort of uh, field uh, as to PC name is in Microsoft Remote Desktop, okay? Okay, so we've got that saved, we call it, we've called it MyPi. Let's close that and let's open it. Let's connect to RDP. It might pop up with a setting saying, alert, is this secure? You just click yes to that. But as you can see, this has popped straight up with the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, I was doing some workings earlier and you can see that we were looking at the IP address. So it's very cool indeed. I can use this Raspberry Pi now on my MacBook Pro very easily indeed. Um, I hope this short tutorial was uh, exactly what you're after because I think the Raspberry Pi is a very good device indeed, but it can be a bit cumbersome trying to connect and reconnect to TVs and different monitors and stuff. So this is a good workaround for that. If you haven't got um, a spare monitor lying around um, this is sure the way to go but anyway guys if you have any questions please leave them down below please bear in mind that I am a complete noob to this uh, Raspberry Pi device and I'm going to be experimenting with a lot more uh, tips and tricks and that sort of thing so please bear in mind that I am a noob to this but I thought this tutorial had to go out on the web because there isn't really one place where you can go and have this ease of access so hopefully fingers crossed it all went well for you please leave your feedback down below please leave a like on the video if it helps you out because this is new territory for me and uh, it's exciting times to be a geek so till the next time guys peace Love you, bro. Uh, oh. no i suck Next question, would you rather stick your cut up hand into a bowl of vinegar or would you eat three worms alive? 